How much are you putting this on for, anyway? Oh, yeah. You have to pay your wages, so I don't worry. I'm sure I heard you say we would do a bonus. Have you two been on them weird drugs again? Do you guys do any work, or do you stand around all day giving it that and looking at women? Yes. Don't come round here with your stereotype. We're very sensitive lads, us, aren't we? Yes, we are. What's up? Has your man been round? Oh, you didn't forget a clean handkerchief again, did you, Aaron? You lot are seriously ruining my macho credibility here, you know that? For a few minutes earlier on, why? Then it will move to one side and protect your delicate feelings. Yeah, thanks. It's even that had harsh words, then. Why, should I go, yeah? No, just more like, go gently with my little boy feelings. Oh, do you know what? She's an interfering. feeling. Are you winding me up? Well, all of a sudden, you become a porcelain doll, mate. Mm, don't say it too loud. They probably think that already. Oh! Hiya. Hello. Well, her nose is still a bit warm, but she's snoring away on her rug, dreaming about rabbits. I do hope you're referring to the patient. <laughs> <laughs> the only way I could cheer her up was with half a pound of braising steak. Works for the only time. <laughs> yeah. Why do I suspect that you're slightly less concerned for my beloved pet's welfare than you ought to be, you know, considering your chosen vocation? All right. Would you like my professional diagnosis? Yeah. Well, the term, the technical term, is in heat. No, I've had a done. Yeah, I'm not talking about Daisy. I try not to slobber too much. Roll us in in a minute. I rarely slobber. Well, I said you were trying to get in a good books. But Pearl said pants. Ah! Then you two are as sadly deluded as each other. Unlike yourself, cynically exploiting an innocent creature. She was due for a checkup. She's not the only one. What can I get you, love? Uh, I'll have uh, a tonic, thanks. Ice and lemon. Maisie, not working. Day off. You'll have to settle for me. Get me one in. I know Marlon's gonna get these. I'm booked in for a sheep whispering up at Butler's. Temperature gone down okay? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm joking, not complaining. All right. Ryan said you'd be up here, so I thought I'd just pop in for a swift half. You know how you do. Oh, I can just mind your own business. I haven't sent out yet. Right, you're sticking your oar in where it's not needed. Again. There's no reason why we can't be civil, is there? Is this because I spoke to Jackson earlier? No, it's because you treat him like a 12-year-old. I just asked him to look after you. And that's not a bad thing. So if you're after an apology, you can forget it. I don't want anybody letting you down, that's all. Especially with what it's taken for you to get this far. And I mean, you can't have a go at someone that's trying to look out for you. Well, I can look after myself. Well, you can't and you wouldn't want to. Come on. We'll, we'll sort it. I can't do right for doing wrong. Forget it. She's just a bit thrown, that's all. Same as me, if you haven't noticed, but we're dealing with it. Listen, right. No, don't say anything. Just go back to work and I'll go back to work. We'll all have a lovely day. All right. I do Hello? Paddy? Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. Patricia Kirk! Oh! Oh, not interrupting, am I? Well then, happy you brought me this time. Constipated wasp, pregnant parrot. I just thought I'd let you know, seeing as everybody's so interested that I've asked Ron Rowe tomorrow, make who come in, or I haven't decided yet. Congratulations, you're going on a date! Oh, excuse me, well inform the press. Yes, thank you for those encouraging words. Oh, maybe I will cook. I mean, I've watched her doing what she does. She can watch me. As long as you don't charge, it can be a bit of a turn-off. It's better like this. Sort of launched ourselves into things a bit last time, eh? Whatever you think, mate. It's just nice to know you're becoming a gentleman in your old age. Hey! I've always been a gentleman, and I can't tell you the number of times I've regretted it. And you remember, she's been through a bit of a rough time. Like I haven't. I know. Yeah, I know. Hey. You're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... I'm... Sorry. Well, it's a good job I'm not involved with anybody, isn't it? I seem to spend half my life worrying how everybody else is getting on. Don't see a beer? Yeah, I could murder one. <laughs> Lock up. You all right? Fancy the pub? Are you kidding? 
Well, if you're worrying about my mum, don't bother. She's not gonna mind you again. Oh, guess that means it's my round then, doesn't it? Why is it we seem to be dealing with this, but nobody else can? It's because we're better than everybody else. Glad you think so. Right, so we're not scared of it then? See, I'm not too sure about that either. Well, we'll get there. I was thinking earlier on that if you want to give the locals something to get worked up about, what, as if they hadn't got enough already? Then why don't you stay at mine next time? I mean, they won't have a clue what's going on. How scandalous will that be? I'll think about it. Charlie! Hang on! What's up? Is everyone all right? 